Hello, all you space engineers out there. Commander Kingfish here, and it is day 56 here on Planet 26. So, the last episode, we got uh, more of the control room done. So, if we go back inside here, we've got kind of the administrative area. This is where all the paperwork is processed. They can tell what ships are in stock or in dock. And we've got a server room all set up here. So that that's what uh, runs the base uh, with the computers. We've got posters up and on the wall. And so I think they all look pretty good. So today I need to finish the reception area and I have a new mod that I want to try out. So if we go into here, let's bring up our G menu. And let's go to our modded blocks. Uh, where is it? Let's see. Oh, you can see I got a lot of modded blocks up here. <clears throat> It's a new ore drill that I want to put in. Where is it? Right here. Ore tap. So let's uh, drop it down into here. And so you can kind of see what it looks like. Let's go outside. So it will mine ore kind of like the resource nodes uh, but this one is a little more powerful it does require superconductors so it does require, require gold uh, but I want to put it in out there for where the stone is and see if that won't up the stone production a little bit so that's going to be a little bit later so let's uh, get back out of there all right, so what I want to do is, uh, I guess first things first is start, I would like to maybe put a desk right here. And then this will be a little waiting room area over here. And then this will be some desks and storage and stuff on the wall, some plants. Uh, but I think uh, you'd have a desk right here so that uh, the visitors would check in and they could either go into the control room area, the inventory area, or downstairs down to security where that's going to be here in a little bit. So let me go ahead and get started on this and we will see how far we get along today.
Okay, well, I think I pretty much got the reception area done. So you would uh, come in the uh, door right here. You'd have a receptionist. Uh, and then uh, figure out what the, what you're doing. Are you going to security back over there? Or are you going to go into the administrative area over here? And so she will uh, or he will let uh, people know and then this is your waiting area so you got a place to sit uh you've got the various posters on the wall and so you can kind of see that that brightens up and some plants then you got a second administrative assistant back over here so uh i think at least for now uh i'm pretty well done with this upper level the administrative area so we've got the reception area in We've got the, basically the administrative area all done. Uh, you've got an inventory room of uh, keeping track of what is being loaded and what's in the big cargo bins out there. And we have our boardroom or our conference room down here, uh, which is all set up and uh, ready for meetings and whatnot. All right, so I think, you know, the next thing, figure out where I'm at, get lost in here. Uh, I have downstairs to do, and I wanted to do that uh, drill, that ore tap. So I think the ore tap is gonna be the next thing I need to do. And so let me get started on it. Uh, what I'm gonna do is replace the stone out here now I don't know how easy that's going to be but if we run over here and take a quick look it uh, the stone tap is a little bit less it's not quite as big as the oh let's see if I can Turn that thing off. Uh, here we go. Let's do this. Uh, static drill off. There we go. So, I would need to connect this thing in. And let's see what we can do here. Pull it up. Where is it? Eight. There it is. Four. Uh, let's do it with a gray. So it would. It would actually just kind of plug right in right there. Let's try that. I still got to get all the parts. And I think that will work, actually. Okay. Well, let me get this built. Let's see how it's going to do.
Okay, I've got this in place, but the one thing about it, it is a power hog. Uh, it is processing stone. Uh, you may not see it in here uh, because it's just going right straight through to the inventory, but you can see it in here. It's, it's pulling the stone in and processing it. So I'm going to put a couple of more wind turbines up here because again, I said it was a power hog. This will be fully depleted in one hour. So I need to try to get, uh, see if I can't get a couple of more wind turbines up here and see if we can't. Uh, I might put two more down below and I actually might have to build that up a little bit higher but I think enough wind turbines on there should do the trick so let me get that done and then I'll catch back up with you have encountered something I haven't encountered before and I'm not sure why it is doing it but I seem to have a problem trying to get up onto the blocks from this particular spot right here so let's try something here run these out again You know what? I wonder if it's because I... I don't think I drilled out through here. I should be able to walk on these blocks. Now, if I go back over here, I think I don't have a problem on it. So I don't know why that is... So if we... Build these out, toss them out over here. Oh. I don't know. I can walk up right here. Well, that's a bit of a mystery. Let me grind these blocks out. And I don't know if it's because of this. But I do know that that is going to need more power out here. I don't have any problems walking around here. I'm not sure. Kind of a mystery. All right, well, let me see if I can figure it out. I do want to get some more wind turbines up and see what, uh, see what happens here.
Okay, I think I have it in place. I've got enough uh, wind turbines going uh, that it uh, looks like it is starting to now recharge. <coughs> we've all, we've pretty much depleted the battery somewhat, but that is still processing. So if we look over here and we see the battery, uh, it's got stored power, uh, but it says fully recharged in 13 hours. So it should be able to slowly get the battery charged up uh, to uh, still allow the drill to continue to process. And so I think we've got that done. Uh, and hopefully that's going to give me more stone to process some of those other materials. So the only thing I got left to do now is to tear down my scaffolding and then uh, head back to the base. So I'll catch back up with you over there at the base. I am back here at the base and I think let's if we go over here and take a look uh, let's see come on we can see that the stone is coming in and I think we can see that the stone is coming in it, it was for, oh we've hit uh, full well I guess I was going to do this anyway but let's uh, we need to in Industrial. Uh, where's my refineries? Better turn these things back on. Okay. Now let's go to the inventory. All right. We can see that that's starting to drain with both of them. Uh, so they're filling back up while the refineries are working away so we can start producing some more iron and other materials that we need so so that's got that going and I think that's going to do work pretty well with the stone I think that is a little better drill than the resource node but it is a little more expensive to build too you need to have to have gold and it does consume more power so anyway and you know what? I think we are getting close to being about done for the day. So we ended up putting that new ore tap in and we got the reception area done. So the next thing that we're going to ha uh, work on is we're going to come to in here and we've got to figure out the security area. So we're going to have two or three holding cells down here. Uh, I'll need to remove and change the lights. I just put those lights up as temporary just so there would be some lighting down here and uh i need to figure out well one of the things that the security area is going to be doing is uh keep monitoring the facilities 
So I am going to have to put up cameras in various parts of the facility here. And we'll do all of that next time. But I'll probably have a camera mounted up here, right up in here, that can look back down this away. Uh, and then I'll have some cameras mounted. Oh, uh, probably one mounted up here and one mounted back over in that area. And then I'll have to have some cameras mounted over here in this area and then out there. So I'm probably going to have six or seven cameras mounted around the base here and then we'll put in a uh, now everything that I've looked at I haven't been able to find one that has a I would have loved to been able to put up LCDs and have them focus in on the camera but I think uh, Space Engineers is just limited very limited on that and I've looked at some stuff out there on the mods I've looked at a lot of mods I just haven't been able to find one that will actually rotate. But what I am going to do is put a uh, control seat in, and then I can set up each camera to be able to view in that control seat. So you can sit in the control seat, and you can hit one, two, three, and that's going to allow you to view the base all the way around. So that would be somebody's function to check on the base and to keep track of that anyway i think that's going to wrap things up again we got the reception area done so the inventory and the uh, control room up here is all pretty much done i kind of like the way it's all come out uh it looks pretty good and then uh the uh, security room is next oh we also got that ore tap in okay all you space engineers out there if you like this video please hit that thumbs up. It really helps out the video. And please subscribe. It will really help the channel. Ring that bell. It will let you know when I am uploading new videos. And I am doing that on a regular basis. Okay, space engineers. Keep your heads low. Keep building away. And don't get shot. And with that, Commander Kingfish is out of here. And I will see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone.